Hey, did anybody, Jackpot. guys, watch the big Downton Abbey finale last night? Anybody ever watch that? Somebody watch that? John, did you watch that? No, I, no, I, I went to catch up on The Revenant. <laughs> They're very similar. They're very similar. <laughs> very similar. Yeah, Meredith. Uh, this is one of my producers, Meredith, everybody. Say hey to Meredith, everybody. Hey, Meredith. <laughs> uh, did, did you watch Downton Abbey? Uh, I, I did. I watched, like, part of it. You, you watched part of the series, or I you watched, watched it last well, I night? I watched the first two years of, of Downton Abbey, and then I kind of fell off. And then I watched the uh, finale last night. <laughs> just pick it so up. After two years, so after two years, you like disappeared for four years and you just expect Downton Abbey to take you back with open arms? <laughs> I only tend to watch it. Like, I started watching it when I had a flu. Yes. And then I caught all the way up and the flu was gone and then I just picked it back up again. It's a great night. thing to watch while you're sick. Yeah. Because you can imagine you could ring a bell and a servant would come to you yeah. with some hot tea or something like that. <laughs> I've been watching it. I watched it. I watched the first couple years pretty religiously. But more than watching it, I enjoyed watching my wife watch it. <laughs> because she loves, like, England and starch sheets. And, and, and I think she would have made a great, like, uh, baroness or something like that. Res restrained emotion? What'd you say? Restrained emotion? Does she like that, too? No, she has. We have a good relationship. <laughs> I was like, right. But I'm that's what you're right. implying. No, that's no, what we're implying. No, I'm just asking. Mm -hmm. You know what? I watched, I watched one Matthew. Remember Matthew was yeah. going to marry Lavinia? Right. And then he got paralyzed in the war. And then I drifted for a couple of episodes and didn't watch. And then I came yeah. back and Lavinia's dead. He can walk and he's married to Lady Mary. Yeah. That's yeah. when I dropped out for a while. Cousins in love. It's beautiful. What'd you say? They're cousins. Oh, yeah, they're. Yeah, they're cousins. <laughs> they're cousins. They're cousins. They're... That's very English nobility, though. It is. Very English nobility. And you breathe them together and eventually they have tongues so large it won't fit in their mouth. Right. <laughs> They turn into Labrador retrievers eventually. You keep, you, breeding, say? you keep breeding them over and over, and then they turn into labs. Exactly. <laughs> they turn into yellow And then lab. eventually you have to put Lord Grantham down because he has canine hip dysplasia. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the fancy Brits, the fancy Brits are irresistible to Americans. Yes. We just love them because it's like a soap opera, but classy, right? Classy because it's on PBS. Yeah, it's on, that's Laura, where all the smart people watch. Smart people. And then, like, Laura Linney tells you it's okay to watch it, so you're like, okay. Right. But you know what I noticed about Downton Abbey? You guys may have noticed this as well, is that at the beginning of Downton Abbey, they'd always have those books going by at the beginning of it, because it's ma Masterpiece Theater. It's not based on a book. <laughs> <laughs> they just, it was just based on, like, a revenue stream. It's the, it's the most popular thing ever on PBS of all time. I also don't get why the Richies are the up, in the upstairs, downstairs of it all. I don't know so why. So, like, the rich people are rich upstairs people and are the servants upstairs, are downstairs? Servants are downstairs, but... If I'm rich, I'm gonna want less stairs. So I'd be more, I would be first floor, make the downstairs people upstairs, then they have to take the stairs. That, that's very American of you. Yeah. That's very American of you. Because <laughs> what we value more than anything else is laziness. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't watch, I didn't watch, I'm glad you watched some of it, but I didn't, I didn't watch uh, all of the series, and I also did not watch all of the finale last night. Did you watch all of it? No, I stopped about. 40 minutes left of it. So did I. Exactly. When Cousin Rose shows up, I checked out. Because mm -hmm. it was at that moment that I remembered that I had a bottle of z upstairs. <laughs> and that is my Sunday night jam. <laughs> but I think I have a pretty good idea of what happened. And I'm going to give my predictions right here, because I did not see the last 40 minutes. This is absolutely true. Um, and I fell asleep before my wife came to bed, so she wasn't able to tell me what happened. These are my predictions. Tweet me if I'm wrong, OK? Uh, someone brushed off the shoulders of a morning coat, and a humble servant with a Yorkshire accent ran up a flight of stairs with a note. <laughs> every, every unattached servant married every other unattached servant, <laughs> and somehow old Mrs. Padmore, the cook, lost her virginity. <laughs> well done, Mr. Barrow. <laughs> Bates and Anna had their baby, but because the baby had no alibi, it was arrested for the murder of Bates' first wife. <laughs> Uh, Lady Edith finally got married to that land agent who turned out to be an earl, but <laughs> because of her terrible luck, he cut his finger on the wedding ring and died of gangrene at the reception. <laughs> and this is the one I'm positive happened. Finally, Lady Mary said something kind of bitchy, but we forgave her because she's so thin. <laughs> anyway, those are my Downton predictions.
Pretty close. I didn't see it either. You didn't see? Yeah, neither. So you have to be Get right. back to me. Get back to me, Internet.